go mount the fan. go crank it up and we'll test the fans wiring is all tucked up you can see how nice that looks and there's so much more room to work on the front of the engine you know replacing belt or anything like that um, so much easier to work on so everything's bolted down I grabbed the bolts when I got the fan I made sure to get the bolts with it so we've got that um, so should be in good shape topped it off uh, with some Dex cool and distilled water. Um, I'm still running Dex cool. I just change it, and uh, they haven't had a problem with it. So uh, I changed it and flushed it when I first got the suburban. And so anyway, uh, so I'm gonna go start it up, and we'll see if they work. We got one fan on, and it's actually pretty quiet. Off. That fan will probably cut off. I don't know. I don't know how it. It's still running. So I don't know what the parameters are for you know turning which fan on. Uh, but uh, we're gonna let it run here for a little bit. I'm gonna, it looks like I need to top off the coolant a little more if I left the cap off. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let it run for a while and then uh, make sure that both fans cut on at some point. One other thing I did, I forgot to tell y'all, while I had all this off, the fan off and the fan shroud and all that kind of stuff, I, I blew my radiator out. I just took a air gun and just blew the fins of the radiator out. It took a few minutes to do that. Uh, just because a lot of dirt came out. So it definitely um, had a lot of dirt built up in there and definitely can't hurt to get that kind of cleared out and should cool better without all that dirt. And the other fan did cut off. So got both fans cut off now and it's really quiet with no fans running. You do valve cover gaskets. So I'm gonna let it go and once it warms up, it should kick one of the fans on. Let's see if it'll kick on that fan over there. All right, so it's cycling on and off. Seems to be working. Um, 
my only thought is the um, is about the AC and if it's um, cycling the fan like it should. So doing some research, it looks like you know, of course, coolant temperature will cause them to cut on, um, and then it looks like if the um, I don't know if it goes by head pressure. Uh, there's some, uh, it's probably head pressure. The head pressure gets to be a certain amount. Um, I don't think it monitors, I don't know if it monitors uh, temperature on the AC side as far as um, um, you know, anywhere like on the, I don't, yeah, I don't think it monitors like on the line pressure if it has any kind of way to monitor the uh, refrigerant temperature on the, basically on the hot side of it. I don't know, but you know, you can hear the compressor cycling on and off, but, and then our fan just kicked on and it seems like they're both kicking on. So I think I'm going to uh, email my tuner and ask him what the criteria is that he set for the fan controls. Um, you know, we've got a, a green wire and a blue wire. Uh, one of them, I forget which is which, one of them is on the AC side and one of them is on the uh, temperature side as far as control, you know. And I'm wondering if the, um, the AC side of it is not kicking on the fans like it should. But uh, let me do some research and I'll talk to him and then I'll let you know what I figure out. But they are cycling on and off. So as far as keeping the engine cool, they're doing that. It's just, I don't know if we'll have, like, like I said, it's a cool day outside. It's in the 60s. And so I've got the AC, you know, on recirculate, max, blower, you know, crank down, full temperature all the way down. So uh, trying to get them to cool as much as possible but with it being a day that it's in the 60s maybe you know it's temperature outside being in the 60s and me being only to, able to crank the climate control down to 60 you know maybe it's just not as much of a demand on the AC and not calling for the fans to be on I just I'd rather be safe than sorry I might do some more research and see if I can uh, test the uh, signal wires from the AC or from the PCM. I think it grounds those wires. So let me check that and then I might check at the relays and see if I can tell if it's grounding signal for uh, coolant on the coolant side you know, the coolant temperature side and on the AC side to see if it's working like it should. So let me research that and I'm also going to email my tuner. So talked with the tuner and uh, he said he enabled it. And so um, he's not very descriptive on his stuff. Yes, it should be good. But not much more information than that. But anyway, he said it's good. So we're doing some more troubleshooting. So I'm tied into the blue wire right here. And we've just got our voltmeter. But I drug out my Tech 2. This thing is kind of glitchy on, um, I don't know if it's because it's 64-bit. But if we command... Uh, command relay two and three on what we get is we've got signal from the PCM turning the fans on so that tells us and it just disconnected again yeah I don't, I don't know why this is not anything to do with this it's it's this um, this anyway um, we won't get into that. That's something else. But we can at least test that part of it. And then if we do this one, relay one, we turn it on. 
what we get. Well, hang on. I was in relay one, two, and three control. So let me back out. And if we go over here to relay one and we turn relay one on, what we get is nothing on that one. And the green wire's got, and we lost communication again. And then if we go over here to, if we back out of there, yeah. And we go to two and three, and at least it reconnects real quick. Do we turn it on? Two and three on. We check our blue wire. We're good there. And of course, green. We're hot there. So, that being said, it looks like our wiring is intact. What I probably will go back with the tuner on is tell him, yes, you're correct. Um, you know, using my tech two, I can turn on, you know, relay one and then turn on relay two and three and I get signal from all, but, and maybe I should check because he's not real responsive or he's responsive, but he's just real short with his answers and it makes me feel like I'm bugging him or something. But, um, what I should probably do is check with someone and see what the fan control should be for one of these. If, if it should be telling the fans to come on anytime the AC's on, or does it only do that if, you know, the head pressure gets a certain temperature or or a certain pressure, or if there's something that the uh, PCM is looking for before it turns on the fans for AC. So that's what I don't know. Like I said, fan control seems to be working on uh, both pins on the PCM, so that's good, but when, that's when we manually run it from the Tech 2 what conditions does the PCM trigger the fans? Obviously on relay one, we're triggering on temperature and that part of it's working, but relay two and three, we have not triggered, PCM has not triggered on its own two and three. And that's what we've got to figure out. So I'm going to take this information back to him or do some research first then take it back to him and if i need to uh like i said we may we may not have an issue here we may this may be exactly how it's supposed to supposed to work but i, I want to verify that before um we call this job complete all right so spoke to my tuner and uh kind of went back and forth with him i sent him a uh he sent me the tune settings uh kind of like where you turn on fan control and then it has in there you know what temperature to trigger each fan but there's nothing in there for the ac and so um that's what he sent back to me it said it's enabled look here's your settings and it showed the temperature setting i said well you know what triggers it should be triggered to run off the fan and or uh, run off the or be triggered to um, come on when the AC's on 
and it's not. Of course, like I said, it's it's cool weather out here. And so I found a, I found an article, and I can't remember if it was EFI Live or HP Tuners or something, but they were talking about you know tuning for electric fans, and they said you know in 2000 to 2002 you have to wire it to the fan clutch relay, which um, I think I've mentioned that in the video. That, but 2003 and 2004, you can enable it in the PCM, but it said you have to make sure you have updated tuning software that can pro that can program the fans to come on with the head pressure on the AC, so that when the head pressure comes up, it'll kick the fan on. And I think that's what's missing. Um, I think there's some kind of limitation in the tuning software that it does not have that option. Yes, you can turn it on for uh, I think Diablo has some kind of a limitation where yeah, you can program 2000 to 2002 because you have to wire it to that relay, but I don't think it has the option in there for the head pressure or if that's wrong. However, it's supposed to sense you know, on a 2004 and 2005, I mean, I guess on up, how it knows when to turn on the fan for AC. Because when the AC's on, there should be a fan on. I mean, that's, you cannot sit here and idle and expect no airflow, you know, across and for the AC to cool, I mean, and the head pressure is going to go crazy. Um, there has to be flow, airflow across the condenser. Um, it, it's just not going to work. You know, you have to cool that hot refrigerant that goes through the condenser. And so something's not right here. And so, like I said, it's a cold day. And so yeah, it's kind of sucky that I chose to do this in the winter because I, I can't really test it so I'm about to wait for a warm day and see if they kick on before the engine temperature comes up and that's kind of what I can tell now I know the wiring is correct because he, he originally said there's a wiring issue and I was like you know I know there's not a wiring issue because I plug my tech 2 in and I can trigger fan control on the two wires you know, the green wire and the blue wire, I can trigger the fans to come on, you know, telling the PCM, turn on the fans, and it works. What's not working is the PCM, I can manually tell it to turn them on, but it's not automatically, it's not telling the fans to come on when the AC's on. And like I said, I don't know if that's a temperature thing or if it's, um, you know, if, it, if the head pressure is just not getting up because it is a cold day and I can't, I can't make the yeah I don't I don't know and so you know you read through this and you see all kinds of stuff you know like it it should come on when it's on recirculate or if it or it's just looking at head pressure but there's something so I don't know what's right but I know that there is something there's some kind of logic in the PCM that should be telling the fans to come on or a fan to come on when the AC's on or when it's been on for a while or when it's on recirculate or something but I can sit here and let this thing run with the AC on and the fans will not come on, you know, a cold engine, the fans will not come on until the coolant temperature comes up. And I feel like there is something wrong here. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to wait for a warm day, try it again. Uh, the reason I have all this out is, you know, I've got this aftermarket stereo. Well, it's got this aftermarket Metra. Uh, this is for the tones, you know, for, you know, low fuel and door dinger and all that and it plug it it reads on the bus and for whatever reason if this thing's plugged in um i cannot program or read codes on this thing it, i guess it causes noise on the OB, obd2 interface and it will not work so i gotta unplug this if i'm doing a when i'm loading tunes and this is my diablo in sport and so I think the goal or the thought here is if I can't get it working correctly, um, if this tune is not going to work correctly, I'm going to just have to find another tuner because 
he sent me this tune and he's like, try this, if it doesn't work, you're gonna have to wire it up to fan clutch relay. And so I don't wanna do that. I've got this all wired up perfect, uh, you know, like the O four, like the O fives. And I feel like unless, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to another tuner and say, Hey, here's what I got going on. You know, that this other tuner wasn't able to get me fan control for the AC side. Can you take a look at this and see if it's possible with this PCM to enable fan control for AC? And if he says he can do it, go ahead. Here you go. Probably have to ship my PCM out, let him program it, and and whatever. But I mean, I'll probably be out a hundred dollars. I, mean, I think I paid seventy-five for this tune. But if I go with somebody else and they're able to do it, I might just reach back out to this guy and say, "Hey, you know, can you give me some credit back? Because I'm not even using your tune." Anyway, so that's where we're going to leave this. I'll update y'all on if this works, but. Um, as of right now, it doesn't look like it's working. It looks like I'm going to have to go some other route, you know, with another tuner or something. Uh, but I am not rewiring this thing. I guess if I, if some other tuner says that it's not possible with this PCM, then I will. But, um, well, I feel like it's a limitation in the Diablo tuning software, but I could be wrong there. So we're going to, we're going to let it go like it is for now. And then we will, um, circle back to this on a warmer day and I'll see if I've got fan control. If not, I'm going to reach out to another tuner and see if they're able to do it. So that's where we're going to leave this off. I don't want to hold up getting these videos out. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.